If you read the book of Judges 5. Judges 5. I just need to give you a little bit of understanding that we rise up to pray. Somehow this school is so much of ladies. <laughs> so what are the guys studying? The guys are studying midwifery also. My brothers, are you planning to deliver your wife? Holy Spirit. The man told me that if there are no male gynecology, no female gynecology, no man will ever deliver help his wife deliver. I say you are not serious. When the situation gets tougher, you don't want to even know who is there. Judges 5 from 6. The Bible says, In the days of Shamgar, the son of Anna, in the days of Jael, the highways were unoccupied and the travelers walked through byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. The seas in Israel until that I, the border arose. The die arose a mother in Israel. So they choose new gods. Then was war in the gate. Was there a shield or a spear seen among the forty thousands? So my heart is towards the governors of the Israel that offer themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye the Lord. If you read that scripture tentatively and if you are conversant with the book of Judges what you are going to see is that the book of Judges is the book of war and the book that reveals the strength of God. It's somehow the book of judgment. How that when God intended to begin to judge the hidden nation he chose for himself judges. When God wants to advance his strength upon the face of the earth in keeping to judgment of the inhabitants of the kingdom of darkness what he reached out to was men men and women became the strength where with God find expression upon the face of the earth men and women became the footstool of God upon the earth among the key players in the book of Judges we saw one devil how much we know about Samson everybody is conversant with the story of Samson others are conversant with the story of Jephthah, Ordner many of the judges that we serve in the book of Judges many of us we are conversant with them but it would never occur to us that a woman can be figure even among them that can judge among the many women Jael was one of them. Deborah was one of them. The Bible says in the days of Jael. That means there was a time. As of those times. When a, it was named according to the exploit of a woman. The Bible speaks so much about the strength of Jael. How that she was also effective. In ensuring that a king in the Philistine was brought down. That these women were strong and armed in themselves, ensuring that they pulled down the strongholds of darkness. The Bible says of that time, all the highways cannot be occupied because there were men and women that stood as limitation to ensure that men do not enter the city. All the travelers coming to the city have to pass through byways because somehow there were Boko Haramis. Somehow there were full and earth men scattered around the road path. It was a time in Israel when no man can come into the city. When you dare to come into the city, you will be ambushed. There are certain kinds of the armies of the Philistine, armies of the hidden that will come against your life. And they will kill you, destroy you, and plunder your exploit. And God need to find expression in that time. He began to reach out to judges. So we saw how Samson was given the strength by the Lord. God gave him a concentration. He kept to it. And at any time.
when the Philistine come, Samson will rise again. Doesn't matter how weak he is. Let the situation present itself. Samson will rise again. And by the job, bow of an axe, Samson can slay thousands. That was the strength of God in view. But what was Samson doing? Was he just killing people? No. He was enforcing the kingdom of God. Because as of that time, when the system of the kingdom of God finds expression, is there the jurisdiction of the house of Israel. That everyone that aligned to the Jewish tradition is part of the system of the kingdom of God. As of that time, what we call the kingdom of God was the Jewish culture. And everyone that does not align to them is actually a heathen. It's Hinduistic. So what those judges were doing, they were just restoring the culture of God in the land. So it was the desire of God to ensure that he annihilates anyone that is not a Jew because they serve an idol that does not speak about God. So when Samson was killing those people, when those judges were killing those people, they were enforcing the kingdom of God. It's not like physical warfare, but in our time today, it's spiritual warfare. How that the reason why we fight spiritual warfare is to ensure that the integrity of the kingdom is preserved. How that the kingdom of darkness will ensure that even in the school of nursing today, that Jesus Christ is not Lord. That party horse, smoking and drinking, sleeping around become the Lord of the time. How that living a carnal life is what should be the head of the time. How that our members of churches also be members of party halls. How that our choir members listen with themselves. How that our escort still mess around. That is the kingdom of darkness finding expression. And that is why we still need men and women that will rise. In purity and holiness. It will require warfare. We may not necessarily need to carry a job over than us. Like something and be fighting. But you must fight to keep your soul. You must fight to keep your purity. You must fight to keep your integrity in God. At this time was such a time when there was no one holy in the land no one named the name of the lord the bible said the Buddha arose i don't know how she did it but somehow she became a voice of difference she decided and said i will be a different yes in a land where nobody pray yes in a time when nobody pray you can awake and say no i will be the first that we pray can you decide to say you will be guilty of prayer that even if they say let no one pray you say no me i must rise to pray yes the school put the regulation there is a law and regulation from the highest of authority let nobody pray there is a law in the land let no one pray like daniel you will say no i must pray that was what happened in the times of the border when everything was against the system of god she said no she rose they said nobody can pass this way she said no it's a lie and suddenly she rose and while the boy rose we saw she said her heart her heart the burden upon her is upon the governors she became an intercessor for politicians today we insult politicians but we need men and women that will rise to pray for them the bible says pray for your leaders if your leaders backslide it's because you are not praying for them in fact your prayer is not complete until you pray for your leaders don't sit down, fold your hands, wait for them to burst life. When presidents sleep with our lives, say, oh, we know he will do it. Forget all this. Shagada, gada, gada. <laughs> we know, we know, we know, we know since before that this, this president is fake. You see, you are failures. You are not a good prophet because you are prophesying doom. 